Hello everyone, it's Marie and welcome to another video. Welcome to my Blue Mountains travel guide. So in this video I got to recently spend five days staying in the Blue Mountains just outside of Sydney, Australia and it was such an amazing experience. So if you're interested in seeing mind-blowing sunsets, beautiful forests, breathtaking views and beautiful waterfalls then just keep watching this video and I'll show you exactly what the Blue Mountains has to offer. Don't forget to watch this video to the end to see one of my favourite hikes in the Blue Mountains and the most breathtaking view you can see in the entire place. Okay, enjoy the video. Hello everyone, so today is day one in the Blue Mountains. So on day one we walked from Kachimba village to the Three Sisters Lookout. Once you get to the Three Sisters Lookout, you can walk to the left, which takes you down a lots and lots of winding staircases. And then you can go to the National Park underneath and take a walk along. Or you could go right and you can do what we did, which is the Prince's Walkway. And this will have you ending at a beautiful waterfall. You could even go all the way further and take it up to Scenic World, which does have some really lovely attractions and views that you can see from Scenic World. We didn't go there, but I've heard from lots of people it's a really good place to check out if you have the time. We just found this really cute little cafe and I got a sandwich and tea and we were on a really tiny table a few minutes ago where we couldn't fit everything but now we just moved to the big one so yay food. <laughs> On day two, we took a ride to the Lura Falls, and this is a village just outside of Katoomba. You can take a train there, or you can drive if it's even better. And the Lura Falls are just absolutely gorgeous. It's a nice little walking trail, a little bit like hidden and in the bush, and harder to find, but once you take the trail, it's really beautiful, and the waterfalls are just absolutely astounding. I highly recommend you visit. One thing that really surprised me about the Blue Mountains was how tropical it seemed. It was just so beautiful, so much wetland, such beautiful fern trees and bushland walking. I really wasn't expecting it to be almost like a tropical rainforest. Uh, it reminded me a lot of when I was in Cairns. It was just absolutely breathtaking. You can also access the Leora Falls from the Three Sisters walking track that is on the left. If you have two days in the Blue Mountains, I definitely recommend this walk as your second day activity. So we made it to the beginning of the trail. Uh, we just drove through Blackheath, which is the town near the Grand Canyon Trail. So this is apparently a six kilometer loop, so I'm looking forward to it. It's one of the most popular hikes, I think, in the area. Um, so I'm, yeah, it should be nice. Uh, it's one of the days where it's like a bit cold, but at the same time, it's like warm in the air, so. Yeah, I got some layers with me, but yeah, looking forward to this hike. I'm just going to take you with me and show you the views and show you what we find. So let's go. So pretty. I really like that. Like you can't really realize how big that is, but that is so big. Okay, so we are just coming down so many steps. So going up later is going to be fun because you know when you have to go down, you always have to go up again. Grand Canyon Walk is a 6.3 kilometer loop. It could take between two to four hours. It's grade free and it is an experienced bushwalk. Um, it's one of the most award-winning walks in the Blue Mountains. So I highly recommend if there's any walk you can do outside of Katoomba Village, you take the Grand Canyon Walk. The start of this walk was easy enough to find via Google Maps and we drove here through Blackheath. Uh, this is the kind of walk you definitely need a car for, so I would not be relying on public transport, but it is well worth taking the trip out of Katoomba to get here. It really didn't take long, but as you can see, it's just full of beautiful creeks, waterfalls. You actually walk through the middle of the canyon. There are quite a lot of steps involved. It's a little bit tiring, but it's actually a really breathtaking walk and is probably the best walk I did in the Blue Mountains, apart from the final one, which I'll be showing you later. Oh, 
<laughs> that was just creek crossing. This is a really pretty walk. Like, there's lots of stepping stones that you walk across. Little wall, like falls, waterfalls, and creeks. And it's so pretty. Look, all these caves. Okay, final push to the car park. Eva's already way ahead of me. <laughs> so we're almost at the car park now. I think it's like 15, 20 minutes. And we've just been walking up so many steps. Like it's like all steps, all the way. And yeah, you're definitely getting tired now. But we have done this so far in like an hour and a half. So I wouldn't say it's a three to four hour hike, but if you're not very fit, I think it definitely could be because these steps are like getting me out of breath right now as well. We finished the hike, um, or the walk even. It didn't take too long. It took us about two hours to complete. So that's really good because it was estimated three to four hours um, and it was about six kilometer a ton. So it wasn't that far. It was just a lot of steps and a lot of walking like uphill. But yeah, it was nice. It was lovely. Like the, uh, like we went like through the canyon, which was lovely. Lots of really lovely bush walking, some waterfalls and streams and stuff. So yeah, it was really nice. Feeling pretty good for the day. Like already done my workout now, so we don't have to rush and do anything else. But so I'll have to talk to you in a bit when we have lunch or whatever. But yeah, we finished the walk and it was really good. I really enjoyed it. If you're in the Blue Mountains, I definitely recommend the, uh, the canyon walk. It was really nice. After the Grand Canyon walk, we took a stop by Govet's Leap. It really isn't very far from Blackheath, but it's so worth the little detour just to see these really beautiful views from Govet Sleep. Highly recommend you visiting here afterwards. See here, the, um, the Blue Mountains was all on fire last year, but now it's, you can see these are all the trees that were burnt. But uh, yeah, there's like lots of green growing out now. It's really amazing seeing how all the trees are regrowing. It's really interesting to see, but you can see the whole area has just been destroyed. Like I imagine this used to be a beautiful luscious forest and now it's just all black, dead burnt trees. But give it a few years, it'll bring itself back, I'm sure. Day four, my favorite hike in the Blue Mountains. On day four, we took the walk to hanging rock okay so we just took like a five kilometer hike well not walk from the car park to <laughs> hanging rock and it is honestly terrifying it's so high up and it's very like very steep very like complete cliff edge there's no way you're gonna fall off and then right to the bottom of the steep st <laughs> yeah so this is a walk to um hanging rock but i'm not sure if i want to even go there so um we'll see <laughs> To reach these breathtaking views, you follow the Boromocha Trail, which leads across a ridge to this really beautiful 360 almost angle of this beautiful views. It's absolutely incredible. We didn't personally want to risk going to the extreme cliff edges. The, the drops are very steep and very dangerous and I didn't personally feel comfortable going onto the hanging rock myself, but this was more than enough to see. It was absolutely beautiful and by far the best view I've seen in the Blue Mountains. Now, if a sunset is what you're looking for, then by far the best sunset in the Blue Mountains will be at Wentworth Falls. And it is the famous Lincoln's Rock. This is where everyone comes to view their sunsets, and I highly recommend this is probably one of the last things you do in the Blue Mountains to end.
Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this maybe just gave you some inspiration or some ideas of things you can do in the Blue Mountains when you visit. Uh, so yeah, give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to follow the journey and I will see you in the next video. Oh, and leave me a comment below. Have you ever been to the Blue Mountains? And if you have, what was your favorite hike? Because maybe people watching this video can look through the comments and find other hikes that they could do that I didn't mention. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.